Right now, over 5,000 fighter jets are patrolling contested airspace across the globe. But only five platforms dominate the skies with technology so advanced they can eliminate threats before enemy pilots even know they're there. China just deployed over 200 stealth fighters that regularly challenge U.S. airspace in the Pacific. Russia's newest jet pulls maneuvers that defy physics. And America's answer? A fighter so smart, it acts as the quarterback for entire battlefields. The race for air superiority has never been more intense. These aren't just machines. They're the cutting edge of national survival, from sensor fusion that tracks hundreds of targets simultaneously to engines that vector thrust in three dimensions. The fighters we're counting down represent billions in research and decades of engineering. Some carry nearly 30,000 pounds of weapons. Others vanish from radar with cross sections smaller than a golf ball, and one of them has changed the entire concept of how modern wars are fought. Let's break down what makes these five jets the most formidable aircraft flying in 2026. Introduction. Welcome to Jet Insight. We bring you the latest in military aviation, defense technology, and the stories behind the aircraft protecting our freedoms. Today's rankings draw from the most current defense assessments, production updates from November 2025, and operational deployment data verified across multiple credible sources. These aren't theoretical rankings. Every jet on this list is actively flying missions right now, from the South China Sea to Eastern Europe. We've analyzed stealth performance, sensor capabilities, combat readiness, weapons integration, and real-world operational effectiveness. What we've found will surprise you. If you agree, these fighters represent the pinnacle of air power. Type PROUD in the comments below. Saab JAS 39 Gripen E. Starting at number 5 is a fighter that proves you don't need a hundred million price. Tag to compete with the best. The Swedish Saab JS-39 Gripen E costs just $85 million per unit, yet it's giving much more expensive jets serious competition. Here's what makes the Gripen E stand out. This single-engine fighter reaches Mach 2 and carries 15,000 pounds of ordnance. But speed and payload aren't its real weapons. The Gripen E features one of the most advanced electronic warfare systems in any 4.5 generation fighter. Its AESA radar can track multiple targets while jamming enemy systems simultaneously. The tactical data links allow it to share information across entire battle groups in real time. What really sets the Gripen apart is its operational flexibility. This jet can take off and land on highway strips. It requires minimal ground support. A small crew can rearm and refuel it in under 10 minutes. For expeditionary operations where you don't have massive air bases, the Gripen becomes invaluable. Brazil just activated a full squadron this year, validating the Gripen's neutral export model. Unlike American jets that come with technology transfer restrictions, Sweden offers more flexibility. Countries that can't access F-35s are looking at the Gripen E as their modernization solution. The GE F-414 engine provides exceptional reliability. Maintenance costs run significantly lower than twin-engine fighters. For smaller air forces watching their budgets, the Gripen offers capabilities that punch well above its weight class. It won't win a stealth contest against fifth-generation jets. But in roles where cost-effectiveness matters, the Gripen E delivers. Sweden designed this fighter for their specific defense needs, protecting vast territories with limited resources. That philosophy created an aircraft that excels at quick reaction intercepts, electronic warfare, and networked operations. The Gripen E represents smart engineering focused on real-world operational requirements, rather than specifications that look good on paper. But what happens when you take that same philosophy and add stealth technology that makes the aircraft nearly invisible? Our next fighter does exactly that, and it's rapidly changing the balance of power in Asia. Chengdu J-20 Mighty Dragon Before we dive deeper, please take a second to like this video and subscribe. Over 98% of viewers watch without subscribing. It costs you nothing, but it means a lot to us. China's Chengdu J-20 Mighty Dragon represents Beijing's ambitious leap into elite air power. And here's what should concern every strategic planner. China has already built over 200 of these stealth fighters. That's not a prototype program. That's mass production. The J-20 entered service in 2017, 
making it China's first operational fifth-generation fighter. This twin-engine beast stretches 69 feet long with a wingspan of 44 feet. It reaches speeds around Mach 2 and carries weapons internally to maintain its stealth profile. The radar cross-section puts it in the same category as other stealth platforms, though exact figures remain classified. What makes the J-20 particularly significant is its recent upgrade. Early models used Russian AL-31 engines, creating a dependency Beijing wanted to eliminate. The latest variants now feature domestically produced WS-15 engines. This reduces reliance on foreign technology and gives China complete control over its most advanced fighter program. The J-20 regularly patrols contested airspace over the East and South China Seas. These aren't just training flights. Chinese pilots are operating stealth fighters in the same airspace where American F-22s and F-35s fly missions. The People's Liberation Army Air Force is gaining operational experience with fifth-generation tactics at an accelerating pace. Intelligence assessments suggest the J-20 features advanced sensor fusion, integrating data from multiple sources to give pilots comprehensive situational awareness. The aircraft carries PL-15 long-range air-to-air missiles capable of engaging targets beyond visual range. In a conflict scenario, J-20s could threaten American aircraft operating from carriers or bases in the region. Some analysts debate whether the J-20 matches Western stealth fighters in all aspects. Transparency about Chinese military capabilities remains limited. But here's what we know for certain. China is producing these fighters faster than the United States builds F-35s domestically. The numbers alone change the strategic calculation. The J-20 program also feeds into China's broader military modernization. The technologies developed for this fighter transfer to other systems. China is now working on the J-35 carrier variant and the mysterious J-36, which features an even more radical stealth design. The Mighty Dragon isn't just one aircraft. It's the foundation for an entire generation of Chinese air power. For American forces and our allies in the Pacific, the J-20 represents a peer-level threat that didn't exist a decade ago. The days when U.S. stealth technology provided an unchallenged advantage are over. Our pilots now face adversaries flying fighters with similar capabilities. Speaking of European innovation, our next fighter combines French engineering excellence with combat-proven effectiveness across multiple conflicts. This jet has seen more real action than almost any other modern fighter. Dassault Rafale France's Dassault Rafale earns the number three spot through sheer versatility and battlefield success. While other nations waited for fifth-generation programs, France built a 4.5-generation fighter so capable it's been fighting and winning in conflicts worldwide. The Rafale is what the French call an omnirole fighter. It doesn't specialize in air-to-air -air or air-to-ground. It excels at everything simultaneously. This twin-engine jet carries an impressive 20,000-pound weapons payload. The M88 engines provide enough thrust for a top speed around Mach 1.8, with the ability to supercruise at Mach 1.4 without afterburners. But the Rafale's real strength is the Spectra Electronic Warfare Suite. This integrated system combines radar warning, jamming capabilities, and missile detection into one comprehensive package. Spectra can detect threats, classify them, and deploy countermeasures automatically. Against older air defenses, the Rafale can jam radar so effectively it achieves a kind of electronic stealth. The combat record speaks for itself. Rafales have flown strike missions over Libya, Afghanistan, Mali, Iraq, and Syria. French pilots have engaged ground targets, provided close air support, and conducted reconnaissance across diverse environments. The aircraft performs equally well launching from aircraft carriers or land bases. India operates Rafales at high-altitude bases near the Himalayas. Egypt flies them in desert conditions. The jet adapts to any environment. The latest F-4 standard upgrade adds enhanced sensor fusion and improved detection of stealth targets. While the Rafale itself isn't stealthy, the new sensors help it find aircraft that are. French engineers focused on making their fighter good at everything rather than invisible to radar. Coalition partners appreciate the Rafale's interoperability. The jet integrates seamlessly with NATO systems and can share data across allied networks. During exercises with American forces, Rafales have proven their ability to operate alongside F-22s and F-35s, contributing to the overall mission effectiveness. The Rafale costs more than some competitors, with a price tag around $115 million per unit.
but operators get a fighter that's ready to deploy to combat zones tomorrow. No extensive training pipeline, no years of capability development, the Rafale delivers combat power today. France continues upgrading the platform with new weapons integration. The jet can carry the Scalp cruise missile for long-range strikes, MICA air-to-air -air missiles for beyond visual range engagements, and precision-guided bombs for ground targets. The weapon's flexibility makes the Rafale adaptable to changing mission requirements. Export success tells its own story. India, Egypt, Qatar, Greece, Indonesia, and the United Arab Emirates all chose the Rafale. These aren't small orders either. India alone is acquiring 36 aircraft with options for more. Countries that could buy American, Russian, or European jets are selecting the Rafale based on capability and operational effectiveness. But even the Rafale's impressive combat record pales next to a fighter that's been America's silent guardian for nearly two decades, remaining undefeated in air combat. Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor The Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor holds the number two position for one simple reason. Nothing can beat it in a dogfight. Despite entering service in 2005, this fighter remains the undisputed king of air superiority. Two Pratt & Whitney F-119 engines generate 35,000 pounds of thrust with afterburners, giving the F-22 a thrust-to-weight ratio that dominates every other fighter. The Raptor accelerates to Mach 1.2 in just 25 seconds. It can supercruise at Mach 1.8 without afterburners, saving fuel while maintaining supersonic speeds. Top speed exceeds Mach 2.25. The thrust vectoring nozzles move up and down in two dimensions, allowing maneuvers that seem impossible. An F-22 can point its nose at targets while flying in a different direction. It can perform controlled flat spins that would stall any other aircraft. Pilots describe flying the Raptor as having more control authority than the aircraft actually needs. But speed and agility are just the foundation. The F-22's stealth capabilities remain classified, but the radar cross-section is estimated around 0.001 square meters. That's smaller than a metal marble. Enemy radar struggled to detect the Raptor until it's too late. By the time adversaries know an F-22 is there, AAM-120 missiles are already inbound. The ANAPG-77 radar can track multiple targets simultaneously while remaining extremely difficult to detect itself. The sensor fusion combines radar, infrared search and track, and electronic warfare data into one comprehensive picture. F-22 pilots see the battlefield with clarity no other fighter provides. Only 187 F-22s were ever built. Congress ended production in 2009, making each Raptor irreplaceable. The Air Force guards these fighters carefully, using them for critical missions where air superiority is essential. You'll find F-22s in Alaska, intercepting Russian bombers. You'll see them in the Pacific, deterring Chinese aggression. They deploy to the Middle East when threats require the absolute best. The Raptor's combat record includes eliminating Chinese spy balloons with precision, conducting strike missions against ISIS, and maintaining air dominance wherever it operates. No F-22 has ever been shot down. No F-22 has ever lost in air-to-air -air combat. The fighter's operational. Effectiveness speaks louder than any specification. For our military veterans and aviation enthusiasts in the community, the F-22 represents American engineering at its finest. Join our community to connect with others who appreciate these remarkable machines. Recent upgrades keep the Raptor relevant. New data links allow F-22s to communicate with F-35s and other platforms. Upgraded weapons include the AIM-9X Sidewinder for close-range engagements. Helmet-mounted displays give pilots better situational awareness. The Air Force plans to keep F-22s flying until at least 2030, possibly beyond. The biggest limitation? We can't build more. The production line closed years ago. Restarting it would cost billions. The F-22 remains exclusive to the United States Air Force. No exports, no foreign sales. This fighter belongs to America alone. Some experts argue the F-22 should rank number one. In pure air-to-air -air combat, it probably would. But modern warfare demands more than dogfighting. Excellence. The future belongs to fighters that excel across every domain. And that brings us to the jet that's redefining what a fighter can do. It's flying with over a dozen nations, changing how wars are fought and forcing adversaries to completely rethink their strategies.
Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II claims the number one spot as the most capable fighter in 2026. More than CF-35s operate globally across three variants, making it the cornerstone of Allied air power. The F-35 isn't trying to out-dogfight the F-22. It's playing a different game entirely. This fighter acts as a quarterback on the battlefield, collecting data from dozens of sources, processing it through advanced computers, and distributing actionable information to every friendly asset in the area. One F-35 can increase the effectiveness of an entire strike package. The sensor fusion remains unmatched. The ANAPG-81 ACER radar tracks hundreds of targets simultaneously. The distributed aperture system provides 360-degree infrared coverage. The electronic warfare suite detects, identifies, and jams threats automatically. The electro-optical targeting system finds ground targets in any weather. All this data flows into one display, giving pilots complete situational awareness. Stealth makes everything else possible. The F-35's radar cross-section measures around 0.0115 square meters from most aspects. Enemy radars designed to track conventional aircraft simply can't see the Lightning II until it's already launched weapons. Advanced adversaries with the latest radar systems still struggle to track F-35s effectively. Three variants serve different roles. The F-35A flies from land bases with the Air Force. The F-35B operates from short runways and amphibious assault ships with the Marines. The F-35C launches from aircraft carriers with the Navy. One basic design serves all branches, reducing development costs and improving interoperability. Combat Operations prove the concept works. Israeli F-35Is have flown combat missions, including strikes deep into hostile territory. The jets penetrated advanced air defenses, completed their objectives, and returned without losses. American F-35s have conducted strikes against ISIS and other threats. British F-35Bs operated from the carrier HMS Queen Elizabeth during deployments to the Pacific. The weapon's payload flexibility surprises many critics. Internal bays carry 5,700 pounds while maintaining stealth. When stealth isn't required, external hardpoints add another 16,000 pounds. The F-35 carries AIM-120 air-to-air missiles, AM-9X sidewinders, GBU-31 JDAM bombs, GBU-12 laser-guided bombs, and the new GBU-53 Stormbreaker for moving targets. What really sets the F-35 apart is the upgrade path. Every aircraft receives continuous software updates adding new capabilities. Block 4 upgrades currently in development will add improved electronic warfare, new weapons, enhanced sensors, and better processing power. The F-35 you buy today becomes more capable every year through software improvements. The global partnership strengthens everyone's security. Britain, Italy, Netherlands, Norway, Denmark, Belgium, Poland, Israel, Japan, South Korea, Singapore, and Australia all operate F-35s. When these nations train together, their fighters share data seamlessly. An Australian F-35 can pass targeting information to an American destroyer, which launches missiles guided by a Norwegian F-35 sensors. The network multiplies combat power. Costs have dropped significantly. Early F-35As cost over $150 million per aircraft. Current production units run around $80 million competitive with advanced fourth-generation fighters. As production continues, prices keep falling. The economies of scale from building thousands of jets make the F-35 affordable for nations that couldn't afford smaller fleets of specialized aircraft. Our Air Force, Marines, and Navy chose the F-35 as their primary fighter for the next several decades. That vote of confidence from the people who fly combat missions tells you everything about this jet's capabilities. The Lightning II isn't just the best fighter in 2026. It's the foundation of American air power for the foreseeable future. Conclusion. These five fighters represent different philosophies and strengths, but all dominate in their roles. From Sweden's cost-effective Gripen to America's game-changing F-35, each protects the skies in ways previous generations couldn't imagine. If you found this breakdown valuable, hit that like button and subscribe to Jet Insight for more military aviation analysis. The skies are changing fast and we'll keep you informed on every development.